Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Kansas Speedway for the RPM 400. This is the first race of the fall and the first race of the round of eight to see who will make it from this track, Talladega, and the Charlotte Roval. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, Lightning McQueen, the spring race winner, and Daniel Suarez are trying to move on to the next round of the playoffs, despite this being the first race of the second round, and they are both starting from the front. In row 2, Bubba Wheelhouse and Cal Weathers, the playoff spoilers because last week they were eliminated from the playoffs and now they seek revenge. In row 3, Bobby Swift and Chase Racelot. In row 4, Colin Bargain and his teammate J.D. McPillar with issues that almost put his championship hopes in jeopardy, so we hope for a resurrection today. In row 5, Jackson Storm and Brian Spark. In row 6, Phil Tanks in the racer who lost his chance to win at Bristol last weekend, Brandon Powercar, starting in 12th place. In row 7, last week's winner, Master Dragon 4000 and Ryan Laney. In row 8, JP Drive and Cruz Amiris, the spring race runner-up to her teammate. And starting in row 9 are Etron Canane, Shea Hollis. Here's the race format, 14 laps, 21 miles around the 1.5 mile track, and pit road speed is 45 miles per hour. The pace car is off to the pits. Here we go with Daniel Swervis and Light McQueen leading everybody to the green flag. Here we go. First race of the fall. The RPM 400 is underway. Already Light McQueen with the lead against the number 019 of Daniel Swervis, including the six above a wheelhouse. Oh, there comes Squares from the in from the yeah from the inside, and he passes the number 95 of Light McQueen. Now side by side for second place, Light McQueen versus Bubba Wheelhouse, and Bubba Wheelhouse takes away second place from Light McQueen, and Daniel Squares leads lap one. Light McQueen dropping the third place already. That's not looking good for him. He might have an issue or something. Inclu including Cal Wetter is trying to catch up to him. Side by side for third place behind Suarez and Wheelhouse. Now here we go, Come out, coming out of turn number four, Suarez leading lap two. But Wheelhouse is trying to get some playoff revenge. Here's a look at Master Dragon 4000, last week's winner. He is currently right now sitting in 11th place, trying to pass the number 20 in Jackson's story, including the 84 JP Drive. Whenever you have more open of the racers, which are part-time ones, that means some more challenge, more opponents. And Suarez leads the first three laps. Pretty good for him. Two weeks ago, Hispanic Heritage Month started, and Suarez is trying to make the rest of the Hispanics happy. That number 019 car is pretty fast right now, including the number 6. Here's a look at Cruz Ramirez, currently the lowest playoff racer sitting in 17th place. That's going to be a huge black eye for her unless if she keeps doing this every single week till the Charlotte Roval. If she doesn't get a top 5 or a win by the next two weeks, her championship hopes are done. And she passes Brandon Power Car and Phil Tanks in. Here's a look at Daniel Swervis leading another lap. That's his fifth one of the day. By total race domination.
Hmm, Brandon Powercar is not looking good. He is currently lower in the rookie class. Meanwhile, Colin Bargain is the highest one. So Colin Bargain is trying to get that rookie of the year award. And Suarez leads the first six laps. Said that a ton already. Now get ready for the halfway jam. Alright, that is your halfway jam. Daniel Suarez still in the lead against the number 6 of Bubble Wheelhouse, including number 42 of Cal Wetters and the number 95 of Lightning McQueen. Currently in the playoff standings, Daniel Suarez is in the lead, so if he wins this race, he will advance to the round of 6, which is Las Vegas, Phoenix, and Martinsville Speedway. So we're not having Phoenix as the championship, unlike NASCAR. Here's a look at Cruz Ramirez, currently jumped all the way to 12th place while we were in the halfway jam. She is trying to hold off the number 84, and now here comes Bubble Wheelhouse side by side, trying to challenge the old 19 of Daniel Suarez and trying to be a playoff spoiler with 5 laps to go here in the RPM 400 at Kansas Speedway. The 6 of Bubble Wheelhouse is trying to draft with the old 19, trying to get his third win of the 2024 season. And Lightning McQueen has passed the number 42 of Cal Weathers, trying to catch up both the 6 and the 019. You're going to go side by side through the front straightaway. If you took a picture in another angle, it would look like Kyle Larson and Chris Buescher's finish in the Spring Kansas race from the NASCAR Cup Series. Bubble Wheelhouse just took the lead earlier. Now it's back to the 019 of Daniel Suarez. Suarez has the better card in the number 6 of Bubble Wheelhouse. Along with Lightning McQueen and Jade McPillar trying to catch up to the number 6 and 019. Now here comes Daniel Suarez with three laps to go. Trying to lead all 14 laps. And here's an onboard Lightning McQueen. Well, we look at Daniel Suarez, which is probably real cost on the top of the screen. Two laps to go here at Kansas Speedway. Nothing is stopping the 019 of Daniel Suarez from winning this race here at Kansas Speedway. And Jenny McPillar has passed the number 95 of Light McQueen for third place, as you've seen on the onboard camera before we just cut the full screen on Daniel Suarez. Suarez has been a lucky man this year. Because his real life counterpart, Daniel Suarez, has won the Atlanta race. Here we go. White flag. One more left to go here at Kansas. As I was saying, his real life counterpart Suarez has won the Atlanta race, got married, and became a United States citizen and advanced to the next round of the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. Meanwhile, Daniel Suarez coming out of turn number three and entering turn four for the final time. He will mark his second win of the 2024 season here at Kansas Speedway. Second place, Bubba Wheelhouse. Third is Jane McPillar. Fourth is Mike McQueen. Congratulations to Daniel Suarez for winning the RPM 400 at Kansas. And also fifth is... I, I, I'm not sure because I was being delayed. But we'll see in the unofficial words. We'll see in the official results, not unofficial results. Oh, Cal Wetters finished fifth place.
Here are the official results. Lightning McQueen is the fastest car of the day. Here are the playoff standings after this race. So the tide has changed. Daniel Suarez has gone from last to first in one race. And Master Dragon 4000 moved from third to seventh, which is below the cutoff line with his teammate Colin Bargain. So they better do something or else they will be eliminated. Next week, it's a challenging race because we're racing at Talladega Super Speedway for the Blinker 500, the last Super Speedway race of the 2024 season, starting next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern and 3 p.m. Pacific. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat Her 27, signing out.